Good morning. It's Sunday morning. Sunday, April 11th. We'll be going uh, live recording and then we'll post it on YouTube and the Facebook. Because the Wi-Fi is not working in the Heather house again. So hang in there. Welcome to morning worship. I see. That's a good thing. Lots of people here for worship. Some are heading home. Some are still hanging in at the park. Thanks for putting the coffee on, Alistair. Alistair, why don't you come out and then get, do your announcement about the coffee? Well, we're telling you Okay. Yeah. yeah, they're all. It's a good thing. Get together and chat. I can't even see Cindy. Oh, there she is. Stand up, Cindy. Oh, she is. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I just got to your attention for a moment or two. Uh, I see a lot of people enjoying coffee this morning. Now, what the problem is, no problem. However, to continue having the coffee, we'll have to have someone step up to the plate and, uh, or up to the urns and, <laughs> and uh, make coffee because Stella and I are leaving the park just for a vacation from May 16 until September 10. Wow. So we're going to be rolling around in that little camper and uh, we need someone or people uh, to fill in if you enjoy enough coffee for the for the summer season until we get back. Uh, whoever you got a couple of weeks to uh, decide wh how, when you want to do it. But if you want to do it, come and see me after the service or next Sunday, and we can go through. A, we'll do a, a run through. I'll give you a tutorial on how you're going to do that. <laughs> so. Uh, Keep it in mind, and uh, then you can help out by making coffee for a couple of months. Thank Thanks, Alistair, for doing the coffee today. Don and Tom for doing chairs, and I think there's some, some subbing going to be uh, arranged for substitute chair set up, people. Well, we'll get that covered. Isn't it great? Things are still changing, but lots more people with vaccines. Uh, Pasco County dropped the mask mandatory. Yes, Hernando did too, but good to see you, you know, in an abundance of caution. Thanks for masking up. I'm sorry, I'm taking my dog. Can you hear me? And I've got bubbles. Matter of fact, yeah, put it a little farther away from your Okay. A little farther. There you okay. go. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So I will sing one for you. Not that one, but the other one. Okay. There's an old and rusty wagon that's left to rot away. The one my family rode in back in the good old days. People loved their neighbors, everybody was so free. And riding in a brand new wagon was something clap your hands. I still see my daddy sitting on the wagon seat. Mom in her old son bonnet, she looks so nice and neat. Oh, kids roll in the wagon. Grandma and Grandpa too. Oh, we used to go to church on Sunday when the wagon was new. I bet you wonder what that wagon looks like. Red wheels were on the wagon. Its body it was green. We all were so happy, like riding in a limousine. People used to gather from the mountainside to see the brand new wagon. And I'll take a ride. I'll still see my daddy sitting on the wagon. Sunbonnet, she looks so nice and neat. Oh, she's in the wagon. Grandma and Grandpa too. 
Well, we used to go to church on Sunday, when the wagon was due. Well, the automobile is here now, the wagon days are through. Airplanes are a-humming, and neighbors, well, they're just so few. Everybody's in a hurry, it's money that gets it through. Well, we didn't need much money when the wagon was new. I still see my daddy sitting on the wagon seat. Mom in a roll sunbonnet, she looks so nice and neat. Oh, kids are all in the wagon, grandma and grandpa too. Oh, you used to go to church on Sunday when the wagon was new. Oh, you used to go to church on Sunday when the wagon was new. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna. Give me hope in my life, keep me praying. Give me hope in my life, I pray. Give me hope in my life, keep me praying. Keep me praying till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna. sick we're in his care we are hurt in his care his loving arms around us evil cannot harm us the lord we're in your care oh lord we're in your care oh lord we're in your care your loving arms around us evil cannot harm us the lord Let's pray. Gracious God, thanks for this morning to, to come before you knowing we're in your care as we give you praise and honor, glory, and our worship. Lord, be with us as we gather in the name of your name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As in Jesus' name we gather and pray and all God's people say it. Amen. Amen. And who all God's people joined up today, signed up. Clark Perry. Praise God. Joe Ferry. Yes. Sandra Ferry. Thank you. Bill LaClue. Yes. Pat LaClue. Here. Mary DeShano. Here. Art Thibodeau. Yeah. Peggy Chain. Here. Alistair Borhill. Hello. Hello. Oh. Stella Borhill. Here. Joe Neely. Joy Joy Neely. <laughs> Gerald Dante. Here. G. Pluck. Thank you. Bob Johnson. Here. Amelia Johnson. God bless you all. Thank you. Don Atwell. Here. Tom Nepper. Here. Jay Nepper. Yeah. <laughs> Miguel Maldonado. Here. Joe Haslett. Here. Patty Haslett. Here. Bill Belleville. Here. Joe. Joanne Belleville. Here. Did I get Bill? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Len Heineck. Here. Ellen Heineck. Here. Mary Marshall. Here. Jojo White. Here. Jack Hen. Here. Kathy Hen. Here. Tom Hen. Here. Pam Hen. Here. And all my hens. <laughs> Jack, how you doing? You okay? I'm all right. All right. 
Is that, is that the wrong side? It's okay. I think you'll be okay. <laughs> Frank Worthley. Here. Betty Worthley. Here. There they are. Mary Ann Harajic. Here. Yeah, yeah, right. Peggy Boshart. Here. Peggy Martin. Here. Mary Sheldon. Here. Stacy Perez. Here. Ba Babu Pinky. Here. Did I miss anybody? No. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Gerald. I like that. Forty of us. Forty today. Forty, worship to God. And some people on uh, Facebook and YouTube, eventually, uh, the, the Wi-Fi is not working today, so we won't be live, but now the atria is back open, they have some good Wi-Fi there, I'll get everything uploaded at about uh, 11 o'clock, maybe, maybe by noon. Until then, we sing number 21 each and every week. Many of you know it by heart. I'm going to get a trumpet. Do you have a trumpet? Oh, you have a clarinet. clarinet. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time will be no more and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. When the saved on earth shall gather over on the other shore and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll and cloud this morning when the dead in Christ shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share when his chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the skies and the roll is called of yonder I'll be there when the roll is called of yonder when the roll is called of yonder when the roll Let's labor for the master from the dark till setting sun, the top of all your wondrous love and care. And when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, the road is called of yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called of yonder, when the roll is called of yonder, when the roll We'll say our prayers. We'll lift up those prayers on the hymns of the faith. You can pick a few in a little while. Uh, then a message from God's word, and then we go on to love and serve our Lord and our Savior Jesus. So, Cindy, we'll lead on with those prayers. I'd like to start with the royal family over in Great Britain. A lot of us kind of follow that. My mom followed the royal family for her whole life because... Queen Elizabeth is just about her age, my mom's age, and her her young her family was about the age of all of my mom's kids, and she just had an interest in that. And Prince Philip, 99 years old, and quite a figure in history. Figure, that's the way they say it in Britain, figure. Or figure, depending on where you're from. So we're keeping that family in our prayers today. So we want to remember all those People are still getting COVID, and we're still being cautious wearing our mask, and I thank you without the mask. Um, but we're still wearing our mask, still washing our hands, we'll still be careful, even though some of their restrictions are being uh, lowered. Um, I want to remember caregivers. We've got a lot of caregivers, and uh, it's, it's not an easy job. I want to remember those that have had surgery, recovering from surgery. I want to remember all those that have cancer. We all know someone that has cancer and is struggling with cancer. And those that are recovering from domestic violence. Those that are struggling with dementia. 
And any, anyone else have prayers for today? Yes. Um. Rod Hawley on Wednesday had some a heart procedure. They replaced the heart valve for him. He's doing fine. He's at home. Rod Hawley had a heart procedure and he's doing good. He's home. Oh, it's good to hear. Uh, uh, Joy, did I hear anything else? Yeah, you did. Um, I have two prayer requests. <clears throat> First one, my uncle is uh, in the hospital. He's going through um, the uh, congestive heart failure, getting the water on the lungs. He was in the hospital two months ago. They gave him LASIK. He's back in. It, it, it's the procedure so that he's going through. And just, I need prayers of strength for my aunt. So she has little kids at home to take care of. And, and this is up in New Jersey and getting into the hospital, it's hard to see, you know, they have reduced hours and stuff like that. So pray for my Uncle Hart and his family. Uncle Hart. And what's your aunt's name? Aunt Kim. Aunt Kim. And my second prayer request, and my heart goes out, and you already said that, my heart goes out to the caretakers. They really have a tough job to do. And when someone's near end stage, it really plays a toll on them. And they thank God for them because mm -hmm. they have the courage to to do what they do. And just give them the strength. Thank you. Yeah. Caregivers, yes. Yeah, Jeannie, how's your, Jeannie, how's your sister? Uh, my sister's doing wonderful. But I'd like some prayers, like for our dear Lois. She's hanging in there fighting every inch of the way. Um, she started her regimen with hospice, so it's just a matter of time, but she's a fighter. She's a fighter, she's a beautiful woman, and I'm so, so blessed to have been taking care of her for over a year. She's blessed too. <laughs> well, thank you. So it, it is just a matter of a few days, maybe. But thank you all for your prayers, her and have some kind of contact with her. You were blessed to have her in your life as well. So thank you. Thank you, Jeannie, for those in hospice care and hospice caregivers. Amelia? Yeah, my daughter's coming in today and there's supposed to be a bad storm. Your daughter's coming in today? Yeah, they're driving. They're driving? What's your daughter's name? Paula. 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 Safe travels. Good to have family come and visit. The rain started on you. It's Bob's daughter. Bob's daughter also. Yeah, that's. Thank you, Bob. We must remember to give Bob credit for everything that he does. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, I got it, I got it. Jojo. I just want to thank uh, somebody, there's women here that came over to my place on Easter, dropped an Easter basket. And it was a hundred dollar bill, which I thought was really good. I don't know who did it. I have no idea who put it in there, but it was there. So. Jojo would like to thank the anonymous people. Anonymous people that brought her an Easter basket with a hundred dollar bill in it. Right. Praise God for good friends and neighbors. Peggy. <laughs> I have a dear cousin in Pennsylvania. Her name is Joyce. We grew up together and spent every summer together. And she's now been diagnosed with stage four cancer of the uh, throat. And she doesn't want any treatment. She just wants to be over. So pray for Joyce. Peggy's friend Joyce has stage four throat cancer. We have a neighbor in our park who came to those first COVID. Worship, worship services in her driveway. Her name is Rose, and she too is uh, just in the end stages of stage four cancer. Keep her in our prayers. Yeah. 
cases at the border, families. Yep. You know, sort that out. The hungry and the homeless. If Judy was here, and people on the edge. Excited to go back to Atria last week. First time back in an assisted living. Twenty people came out. They were starved for interaction. Remember those uh, assisted livings? They were in their apartments, locked right in, literally, for three or four months. And uh, yeah, things are changing. They're changing up. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not yourself from my plea for mercy. Attend to me and answer me. I am restless in my complaint, and I moan. Because of the noise of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they drop trouble upon me, and in anger they bear grudge against me. In my heart is my heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror overwhelms me. And I say, oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. Yes, I would wander far away. I would lodge in the wilderness. I would hurry to find a shelter from the raging wind and tempest. Destroy, O oh God, divide their tongues. For I see violence and strife in, in the city. Day and night they go around it on its walls, and iniquity and trouble are within it. Ruin is in its midst, oppression and fraud do not depart from its marketplace. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, Grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit. Father, thank you for this new day. Thank you for this time to gather and worship you in love and peace. Many are calling out your name, asking, begging for forgiveness. We are sorry for our sins. Thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for continued healing of our bodies and our lives. Be with our nation, guide our president, protect our military, and guide and protect our first responders. Help us all to look to you before we say yes or no. Father, you've heard the names of those lifted before you today, the spoken and the unspoken. Grant that all their needs would be met according to your will. These and all our prayers we ask in the name of Jesus, who taught us all to pray. Our Father, our Father. Okay, standing up. 
heading towards the piano. Why don't you all stand up for a good for you? Good stretch on those legs. Good choice. Page eight in the garden. Page eight. No, eight.
Let me tell you. Page 71. Page 71. That didn't escape me, Joe. I come on, I, I resist it. We're all challenged. That's why we stick together. That's why Cloverleaf works. That's why Tanglewood, where we live, works. We stick together. And indeed, oh, oh, that's why. Get back up. Indeed, the uh, this year has has gone by slowly, but then again, it seems like yesterday we were in the driveway doing Facebook worship services, and now here we are with uh, Atria opening back up, Assisted Living, where we go on Sunday afternoons for a worship service at 1. I mentioned earlier that the folks were just hungry. They were just so eager, and eager to worship, and we sang, we prayed, and did things just pretty much the same way we did a year ago, although they're still spread out, 20 people only in the chapel. And they're all spread out. The chapel's not nearly as, as big as this room. So things are, things are changing. And here we go into another season where, <laughs> where did that time go? Lent started uh, two months ago, and then we had the Lenten season, and we re reflected on, on the upcoming Easter, and now Easter's come and gone. And this passage from John, the 16th chapter, verse 32, John 16, 32, uh, came to the top of my devotionals in the last couple weeks. Indeed, the hour is coming when you will be scattered. John 16, verse 32. And, and Jesus wasn't lecturing his disciples or scolding them. He was just telling them, you're going to get scattered. Indeed, Jesus tells us your life is going to feel kind of scattered. Scattered brain, scattered emotions. The disciples' faith was real, just like our faith, faith is real, but it was disordered <coughs> and unfocused. 
So after we've had this perfect relationship with God through the sanctifying work of the Holy Spirit, our faith must be exercised. Now we exercise our faith in the realities of everyday life. I suspect that our circumstances are engineered by God. I mean, it's just chance that these viruses rise up and take hold of the world in a pandemic. And God gives us a chance in this past year to pull together. Like Joe and Peg just pull together to get up and down the stairs and back to their, their seats. It's important to see how that is working out. Things like pandemics, the loss of loved ones. It's important to see that until Jesus is truly our Lord, each of us have goals of our own which we serve, but our faith is real but not yet permanent. God's never in a hurry. I mean, this pandemic is, is proof of that. There's, you know, it's going to take some time. But now we have Pentecost in our sights. If we're willing to wait, we'll see what God's pointing to in a new direction. Pentecost awaits seven Sundays after Easter. And it's a time for us, not like Lent, where it's kind of a, a downer. This is an upbeat time where you're thinking about the good things God has for you. And coming up in seven weeks is Pentecost. And many denominations celebrate it in, with the color red. It's the red that, in, that is representative of the Holy Spirit coming down those tongues of flames that were on the disciples' heads. The seventh Sunday after Easter, 50 days to consider what a good thing God's got for us. And he gave us examples. As Easter came and went, the tomb was empty, and in Mark 16, verse 12, we hear after that he appeared in another form to two of them. Pentecost is coming. The Holy Spirit's coming. Jesus came back and walked along the road with his disciples. He built a campfire. He roasted some fish, and he said, come on in and eat. Be strengthened. John 9, 25. Now I see him, the blind man said, after he was healed of his blindness from birth. And then John 16, 33. Be of good cheer. I have come to overcome the world. We're overcoming. Hard to see sometimes, but we're overcoming this pandemic with God's help. And John also talks about that scattering. Indeed, the hour is coming. You'll be scattered. In Mark 16, verse 13, And they went and told the rest, but they did not believe them. You know, think thou in Thomas. Uh, Thomas said, said, Unless I can put my finger in the holes in his side or see the marks on his hands, I can't believe. And here comes that Holy Spirit on Pentecost. Jesus must appear to you individually. You can't bring a friend to the point of seeing God. God's got to do that. The Holy Spirit cannot be accepted as a guest in merely one room of the house. The Holy Spirit has to invade the whole house. Be thinking about being all in as Pentecost approaches six weeks from now. Romans 8, 14 through 16, for those who are led by the Holy Spirit of God are the children of God. The Spirit you received does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you receive brings about your adoption as sons and daughters. And we cry out, Abba, Father. One of our favorite radio personalities is Cindy Nyla listen to a worship service on the way up on Sunday mornings. She, she prays, Daddy, Papa. Where are you, Cindy? Oh, there you are. And we squirm a little bit. We think, ah, that just seems so informal. So how can you call God Dad? Or Daddy or Papa? But she does, and she does it with just comfortable sincerity. That's who she views her God as. Papa, Abba, Father. 
In Romans 6, verse 5, consider this as you think of these next six weeks of being all in with the Holy Spirit. Romans 6, verse 5, If we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection. Romans 6, verse 5. As Pentecost approaches, think of that wonderful truth that we have in our faith. That because Jesus lives, because Jesus came out of his tomb, we too and all of our loved ones will come out of a tomb as well. Let's pray. Gracious God, thanks for this Pentecost season as we run up to Pentecost in the next six weeks. For these six weeks after Easter, be with each of us as we watch for your presence, Jesus. Where we're surprised every once in a while to think of you as we're giving a hand out. Or taking a hand up. Lord, help us in these six Sundays of Easter to watch for your Holy Spirit. Surely your presence is in this place. Feel your mighty power and your grace. Feel the brush of angel wings and see glory on each face. Surely your presence, Lord, is with us. Open our hearts. Let us, let us see you at work in everything that we see and do. Lord, be with us as we watch for those flames of the Holy Spirit to come down and land on each of us, set us on fire to love you, worship you, and give us assurance that you love us, care for us, and never going to let us go. All God's people said, amen. 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 Let's stand and sing. We can't circle the room yet. Because that's just not, not quite yet. We're getting closer. Blessed be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is like to that above. Now go on from here as humble people, for only in humility is their true strength. And as you walk humbly with your God, he'll send that Holy Spirit to empower you, to lift you up, to bring your spirits to a place where you can be a blessing to those around you. And go on from here as quiet people, for in the quiet you'll hear the good news. God loves you. God cares for you. He's never going to let you go. And now the love of God and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the comfort and friendship of the Holy Spirit is ours now and forevermore. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 Facebook and YouTube. We'll get this posted and up uh, online just as soon as we can.